Time for live demo. All right. So I want to welcome you to the Bio Biotic Corp Calliope Machine. All right. So here you can see we've got the whoa. I'm getting I'm getting feedback. You can see we've got two body types that I can select from at any point in time. So we're going to start in right away. Now you might recall how the character creator currently works. You would have a whole bunch of source heads from our DNA pool. We would select one of the facial shapes and then we'd blend it up or down depending on how much you wanted that certain facial shape. Now this was pretty good, but it's not the most intuitive of systems. So instead, what we wanted to come up with was a much more intuitive way to control this. And what we've now introduced is sculpting mode. So it's quite interesting to know what's going on behind the scenes. And this wasn't an easy problem to solve, but our animation programmers and tech artists and everybody came together and they figured out a way to basically make it so that from the DNA pool, we are making a selection based on what you want out of it. So it's going up between all the different options. Now I'm going to start making some changes here right away. So I want to wind up the nose. You can see that it's all very intuitive. It's fast to use. I'm going to make the lips a little bit bigger here. There we go. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to adjust the brow here, maybe make a little bit of a heavier brow. Now we can adjust the eye shape. We can go more almond eyes. We can go more oval. We can have a heavy lid. You know, I can find a whole bunch of different options within here. So here, we're starting to look pretty good. I want to give him a little bit more of a hero chin. And there we go. I'm liking that. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So not to spend too much time on that, I want to show you some of the other features. And speaking of features, we go to our skin tone. So finally, you're not just selecting a preset skin tone. You can move through the whole gamut of the lookup table. And this is melanin and hemoglobin at the same time. So at the very top of it, I've got a texture slider. So instead of the whole head sort of selection, we can go between all the different textures. Now, like Forrest mentioned, we're going to have 30 of these for uh, one body type and 30 for the other body type. So here I'm kind of like in, uh, what am I like? Oh, I like, yeah, I like this one. So here, and I'm just going to set a skin tone that I kind of like, something like that. That's cool. All right. So the next step in our skin tone is the complexion and complexion we've added freckles so here i'm just blending in and i'm blending out the amount of freckles now i've cranked it all the way to the top just so you guys can see it but for my character here i'm going to keep it kind of subtle like this but quite a few of them something like that. Uh, we've also got sunspots. Now this is, a, you know, a little more weathered skin. We'll give this sort of look. And we've got a whole bunch of different blemish masks planned for you guys, whether that's sunspots or liver spots or anything to that effect. Now I'm going to give this guy kind of a weathered look because I think the skin tone looks pretty cool like that. Yeah, I'm digging that. All right. So next up, eyes. So no longer do we have the green and the brown, just the, the full selection. You've got a full RGB chart of what you want to select. So if you want to have bright green eyes, if you want to have hazel eyes, if you want to have blue eyes, if you want to have any of these eyes, this is all very, very nice. So again, we can go with deep browns. We can go with sort of a steely blue, which I'm kind of digging for this skin tone. Uh, I quite like that look. That's cool. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get into some funky colors. Don't you worry. All right. So one of the other things we've added, and it was mentioned before, we've added a makeup layer. And with the makeup layer, we're totally inclusive. Any of the body types can have make makeup. Now, I don't want to spend too long on it here because we're going to get into it in a couple minutes. But I just want to show you sort of blending that in, blending that out for this particular uh, body type. So next, 
as Andre talked about, we have all the hairstyles that you could want. So I'm just going to pick a couple different ones. There's a, you know, a reality for some of us and another reality for another one of us. There it is. That's what I want my reality to be here. Something like this. Uh, I'm digging the Mohawk, though, for this one. He's got a bit of a Mr. T look to him. I kind of like this. Yeah, I pity the fool. All right. So, it might go without saying that we've got beards now. So, if you want to select a full beard, you can select a full beard. If you want just mutton chops, you got your mutton chops. You want your handlebar, you got your handlebar. All right. So, we've got all the different beard types that you could want, and we're going to add as many as you guys really want. So, I'm kind of digging the full beard for this guy. Yeah, I'm digging the full beard for this guy. Uh, even further to that, we've got eyebrow selection, which is, I mean, you could go with no eyebrows. That's, that's a very real, you could, you could have bushy ones. You can have a little bit more, you know, normal, kind of straightforward ones. But it was mentioned before during the hair and uh, with Forrest's uh, discussion that we've got the hair dye as well. So with the hair dye, you can affect all the hair at once. And right now I've got all selected. So I, I can go through the gamut of all the different hair uh, 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 melanin that you can set. So here I'm just going to darken it up a little bit. And if I wanted to dye the facial hair, I could just dye the facial hair all by itself. Setting a dye color here. Something like that. But in the end, I'm really digging the jet black on this particular one. So I'm going to frost these tips a little bit. I think that's going to look kind of cool. Let's set a bit of a blonde here, turn up the dye amount. And then what's really cool about this, and I'll show this in a minute, is that we can actually control the fall off of it. So again, if I just want this on the tips, I can just blend it right about here. So there we go. He looks a lot different than how that started, and I think that's actually pretty fun. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here, and I, I can't wait for you guys to explore it and spend as much time as you want uh, customizing and expressing yourself as a character. So once you're done, you've got to sign off a personal declaration that the physical appearances that the calliope process has allegedly caused um, are okay with you. So let's go to our next body type. All right. So, I'm going to go to town here real fast, right, right away, and you might look, you might think it looks a little off or so, but I don't know, we're going to get there. Let's make some changes here. I'm going to adjust the bridge of the nose, maybe a little bit of the cheekbones here. That's maybe a little extreme. Let's go back here, something like that. And I'll make the lips a little bit smaller here. And I'm going to lengthen that chin for a little more of a triangle kind of face here. So you can see, you can tweak to your heart's content. You can spend a lot of time doing this. And, uh, and uh, I don't really like the brows. So I like a little bit softer of a brow for this particular character. And that's looking pretty good to me, actually. So next, just like we did before, we go into features. We can do the skin tone. I'm going to select a certain texture here just because uh, we got to get going on time here. Let's go. Something around here is looking pretty good to me. Cool. All right. We go into the complexion the same way that we did before. So we start with the freckles. And I kind of like a real freckled appearance on this particular character. And I'm going to turn down the sunspots. So we move forward to the eye color again. Ooh, I'm really digging the green. Yeah, I like the green kind of look. And we get to the makeup. Now, this is where I want to spend more time. Now, I'm arguably not very good at this, um, but I, I will do my absolute best to show you guys uh, how you can <laughs> how you can use it. So first is the eyeliner. So the eyeliner, we can do any color. You can go as crazy or as, or as chill as you want to go with this. But for this particular, I'm going to go quite dark here, just in the dark sort of fuchsias and purples. Here, we're doing the inner lid eyeshadow. And that, I'm kind of keeping the 
same theme, I think. Yeah, and we're going to do the same thing with the broad eyeshadow. So again, we can go as crazy or as calm as you want. So what I've had good success in doing is kind of having it cranked, and then I just pull it back to a little more of a, of a, of a natural blend, something to this effect here. Uh, next is the lips. We can do the exact same stuff on the lips. Now, what we have is a whole bunch of different uh, makeup masks, and you've got three different channels within those masks, so basically three different colors that are affecting different areas of it. Now, for the lips, we can go with the same sort of theme if we wanted, and I think I'm actually kind of digging that. And let's go on the lip liner, a little darker. And then lips are a lot more glossy, so we can increase the gloss there, so that looks a little more like a lip gloss. Yeah, that looks pretty cool there. And then, like I was doing before, I kind of just pull it back a little bit. And there we are. So next, oh, I think we're good. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're good. I have no business doing that, that's for sure. Uh, same thing on the hair, again, we've got a whole bunch of different hairstyles. These will all be shared between the two body types, but for this particular demo, we've got the ponytail, we've got the slick back kind of look. Yeah, I'm not finding one I'm really digging yet. Ah, yes, yes, now we're talking. All right, so cool. Now. Again, we're fully inclusive here, guys. So if you want facial hair on any body type, you got facial hair on any body type. That is up to you guys. So on the eyebrows, I'm just going to leave them because we can't, can't really see them anyways. Uh, but for the hair, I really like dyeing this hair a certain color, sort of, you know, uh, something in the darker range going to turn that down. I like the nice jet black. Look at the makeup bounce out. That looks cool. Um, I'm going to turn up the dye, though, and I'm going to try to carry my same theme forward here. There we go. And then I'm going to give it a bit of a fall off, as we can do. So it's just on the tips there. So let's see that in action. All right, so now, you know, at first, we weren't sure about that character, right? But in the end, I think she turned out, definitely. So, you go to a review, sign off your declaration again, and head to game. So, you know, I'm really lucky to be able to sit in front of this. And again, it was a huge amount of work from tech art, engineering, designers, and specifically the squadron feature team that has done all this work. And one of the cool things to note is that we use this now internally as a tool. That's why it's me up here demoing this. This is our tool internally for creating all these heads, for creating all the NPCs in the verse. Because as Chris put it one time, he doesn't want his NPCs to look lame. He wants them to look cool. And this gives you cool looking characters. Thanks a lot, guys.